Next, more problems. The Mission Gateway project may be hitting another snag. That's the, the project in Mission. It's just off Johnson Drive and Rowe Boulevard. It's still sitting vacant years after the old mall came down. New at 6, Lisa Benson looks at the project's future. Ago, and he says he's not predicting any more construction dates for this site. He says right now they need one more tenant and plans from Walmart. In August of last year, the Cameron Group broke ground on the Mission Gateway project. Seven months later, the site sits empty. I was surprised when it just stopped. I mean, the trucks did their thing and then nothing. Wissing is the owner of Casey Home Rental. His picture window gives a clear view of the lack of progress. I mean, I figured it was a done deal when they started breaking ground. Uh, and to hear that it's delayed even further and possibly further, and now we're looking for a tenant. Today, the developer informed city leaders and residents that he needs to sign a 60,000 square foot tenant that will operate on top of the Walmart. Signing this new tenant will open the door to private financing and start construction. Joel Marquardt is the mayor of Roland Park. It's going to be an 18 month time process from once they get their financing in order and give the word to go. Marquardt follows the 160 $65 million development closely because the night before the new Walmart opens, the Roland Park Walmart will close. I'm sure, it's difficult for us in our projections, but we'll do the best we can. City leaders in Mission did not return our phone calls about the stagnant development. However, area business owners say as long as traffic keeps moving along Johnson Drive, they'll be fine. Now, because of all of the challenges, the retail spaces may have staggered openings, with Walmart, of course, being the first right now. The developer is still working towards a June of 2015 deadline. Reporting live in Mission, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.